I do pro bono work because it's it's part to me it's part of what lawyers do it should be part of what every lawyer does I've been doing pro bono work almost my whole legal career I began doing criminal cases pro bono with a a group of young lawyers and law students and lay people uh, in the late 70s. Today, Richard focuses on assisting the homeless of San Francisco. The Homeless Advocacy Project was created specifically to assist people who are homeless or at risk of being homeless. Richard Zittrain has been really inspirational to um, a lot of our other volunteers as well as people that are on staff here at, at Homeless Advocacy Project. He is a great resource for us to consult with about our cases and to um, you know, mentor us as we're trying to do the work that we're doing here. Richard has a way of convincing anyone that, uh, that, that the services are much needed and that that particular person is very qualified to uh, undertake uh, the program and help those who need help. After I started volunteering with the Homeless Advocacy Project, I got a call from someone at Glide Church because I had also said I wanted to volunteer there. And we thought, why not put the two together? and have a, an outpost of the Homeless Advocacy Project in the church. Richard Zittrain established and founded the Glide Law Legal Clinic here. He actually was responsible for bringing the resources, the volunteer lawyers and advocates from Homeless Advocacy Project to our location. You will not find the Tenderloin on any map. It does not officially exist, but it is nevertheless here. Here in the middle of this area, you'll find people who are homeless, who have come here from other parts of the United States and found that this was not the promised land and are living in shelters, sleeping on the streets, who are hungry and wandering this place like it was the third world. My clients are as important human beings as anybody else around. Bar presidents, lawyers, elected officials, they're people uh, with dignity and with needs and uh, should be treated as you would want to treat any member of your own family. A lot of our clients have established personal relationships with Richard as well as our staff. We love him and we know our clients definitely benefit when they um, have a consultation with him. It, it, it always turns out to be very positive. I've had a very rewarding legal career. A lot of things that have been exciting and joyful. But I must say that there is nothing as rewarding, nothing as rewarding as working with one of my clients and seeing that that client has justice done to him or her, somebody who wouldn't have been helped if we didn't have these programs and if I weren't there uh, at that clinic.